All right, so in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create something like this from one of those free wing ding or dingbat type fonts. Uh, so a couple things we need to do is one is we need to have a uh, font installed. So I am going to go ahead. I have uh, Tom Bats installed, so we're going to use that. So I'm just going to type in the letter small letter M, and let's go ahead and increase that size a little just so we can see it better. A small letter M, if I convert that using my font, in this case I have the um, Tom Bats, but you can see if I use the Hey Dings uh, icons font, it turns into a little microphone or audio symbol. We're going to use this. So this little character, this is a font here. So I'm going to go ahead and just make it bigger, right? Now what I want to do is convert this into a vector shape. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, so uh, what you need to do is use the fragment feature. So we're going to duplicate this. So we've got two shapes. And I'm just going to go over to Format, Merge Shapes, and Fragment. And this is only going to work with PowerPoint 2013 or newer. And so now once it's fragmented, it created these shapes. So I'm going to fill these shapes with this kind of skin tone, right? And I'm just going to go ahead. I can kind of see where those shapes are at. We got the arms, we got the legs here. Let's go ahead and fill that with the skin tone. I'm going to fill the t shirt here with a color. So maybe I want, uh, we'll just do green this time. And I can zoom in, right? And so let's make, get this little accent piece here. We'll fill that with green as well. We'll make the shorts, um, just make them darker green. Here, well, let's make them blue, I guess. So we got the blue shorts here. Now you can see sometimes you kind of get this weirdness. So I can, I'm just going to fill this with that flesh color just because I'm lazy. Uh, but if you want to create, like, say, shoes for this, I just use the um, this curve tool here, and I can click, and then I'll just click and drag it here. It doesn't have to be perfect. Right, and then we're going to fill that. Let's make the shoes red just so they stand out. We'll get rid of the outline. And what I need to do here is make these red as well. And this is going to be easy because I can just fill it with red. Now this one you can see the lines if I look at this. Or actually let's make it transparent here so you can see it while I'm doing the demo. So we're going to make it slightly transparent so we can see it. Now if I zoom in here. I want to edit this. I'm going to edit the points. And I want to actually get this pretty close to the black line um, just to get more of the capture more of the, the black line in here. All right? doesn't have to be perfect because this is one of those sketchy looking um, icon things. But it's close enough for us so you can see. So now I get something a little closer and I'm going to turn the transparency off. So that works good enough for our demo. So let's go ahead and zoom out. So now we get rid of this extra one. So we've got this character here. And I can just group it. And now I have a vector shape that I can scale up or down. I'm going to right click, save it as a picture, save it as a PNG. That's going to retain the transparency. So everything around the image is transparent. So if you want to retain that and use this in Storyline or some other product. Just right click, save it as a PNG, and then the transparent areas will be transparent. If you save it as a JPEG or JPG file, uh, the transparent areas are going to be white. So that's basically it. Insert, install some of those uh, free icon fonts or dingbat type fonts. Uh, bring them in, use that fragment feature to convert them into a shape and then at that point you can edit them and recolor and do whatever you want to and then save those as images and you can do all sorts of things.